Hey guys, welcome back to my F1 2015 career mode. Um, as Fernando Alonso and for McLaren, um, finally the race I've been waiting for, Bahrain. Uh, we've got a practice session coming up, it's currently 16th. I'm hoping that we can catapult our way up into maybe 13th, maybe even 12th if, uh, if we get some good points here. Um, so yeah, I've just got my fingers crossed that I can get some points and uh, get some points in myself and the team. If we go to the constructors, we are currently second last. Um, the Mano aren't all that unlikely to get points this season. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's continue into practice. The magnificent Bahrain International Circuit sits majestically in the desert, situated just 30 kilometers from the capital, Manama. Welcome to the Bahrain Grand Prix, where practice is about to get underway. This weekend's night race will definitely be a challenge for some of the drivers, as not all of them have driven under lights before, so they'll need to quickly adapt to the conditions. A pretty quick intro there. Uh, a little bit faster than perhaps um, I'm used to. I do wish I spent a little longer with things like the um, showing the grid and the um, like sort of track map map and all the sort of um, statistics and stuff. Um, they just all go a little bit too quickly. No one's actually able to read them, and if you're anything like me, I quite like to look at that kind of stuff. I'm going to put on a setup. I think I've got on this uh, track. I just need to check. Um, yes, here we go. So we can see here, this is my setup. It's quite strange, but it works very well. I uh, did a few laps on time trial on this, um, just for testing purposes. Um, well, no, I was just trying to uh, get a good time trial time, actually, um, a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, this is uh, uh, and uh, yeah, this is the one I was using. It's uh, very good. Other work on this car, I'm not sure. Anyway, as always, I'm going to um, see you guys at the end of practice. Okay, guys, so you join me at the end of practice. Just going to let this Ferrari pass through his battle. And. Um, and uh, so far my time isn't amazing but I haven't been on the options yet and it was on heavy fuel so just gonna see how I do with the option tyres braking nicely there I don't think the weather in Bahrain is anything but hot and dry. Oh, may need to. Uh, no, that'd be fine. I was gonna say, a turning down the tyre pressures, but it should be fine. It was really bad light through here. This is the notorious turn 9, extremely difficult to get right, once you do though, you can gain literally tenths of a second just on that corner. I mean, you know, you can gain one or two tenths if you get that corner right. It's also a really difficult corner. You can either do the line I just did, or you can uh, do the much wider line. Um, the line I did is... Um, We'll get you around the corner faster, but it will be slightly slower um, coming up to turn 12. Um, but um, yeah, no, both. There's two, uh, and then I'm going to show you guys the other line on the next time around, whereas you still go wide and you get carry quite a bit more speed. Well, considering I was only three temps off, and you saw how much of a mistake I made. Should be about, I don't know, 1.1, fast of these tyres. Or these, um, we're set anyway, the um, option tyre compared to the prime. I'm going to try third. I was trying second. Uh, 
Um, I think third is a little bit better for this corner. And get an early turn and use that right curb as much as possible. Then you can go flat out around last bit here. Wow. Well. Well, we're going to continue for a lap, but Jesus. Just have a quick look. Hopefully it's still got on the. There you go. Uh, hang on. Let me see if we. Ah, that will be why. Uh, let's see, is it it's from here? Wait, I already had on that one, did I? Oh. And look at this save at some point. <laughs> Thing hurries up. Sometimes it's like really, really slow. I don't know why that is. Uh, so here we go from here. Incredible how we somehow managed to. Not completely lose it. Oh shit. Well, that is that over, really. I think we may as well retire. And uh, start qualifying. Wow. Jensen was able to get a 20, a 34. Hopefully, means we can do something similar. Got my fingers crossed. The cars are ready, the drivers are ready. We hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain. God, I'm wondering if it was ever going to load then. So, uh, option tiles, of course. Alright, we're going to go to uh, standard mix. Try and get it turned in. I'm not sure how it uh, calculates it, but we all seem to be very similarly paced um, on that um, coming up to start finish, which in real life wouldn't happen. They've obviously set like everyone has to pass it. I don't know, 170 or whatever. That was a bad cut, but it was a really, really poor line. Needing to concentrate because I really want to get a result here. Just want to get some points from McLaren, get my career started, especially as we were about to start the European season after this. Fourth, this is that other line I was talking about. Can go flat through this corner if you take the right line. Sometimes you'll have to lift off. Track just a little bit too much. Oh, come on! Thirty-four nine. That's a pretty good. Jensen got a thirty-four something, and he's happy. It means we've got a good result, whatever it is. It's been for Mercedes today. They've locked the front row of the grid for tomorrow's race. It's been a great session for the team. They've really been pushing hard to make this happen and their hard work has been rewarded. Can't help but feel Jensen probably made a mistake. Um I reckon some points are in store for us. I know this track far better than any of the other ones we've done so far this season. Uh, Melbourne was our other chance to potentially get points as well. We weren't able to then. First race of the season, cars at its worst. We were at our rustiest. We're gonna advance now to the race. Hello and welcome from the Bahrain International Circuit here in Sakir, where the drivers are down on the grid, going through the last checks with their engineers before we can get underway. With over 30 P1s to his name, Lewis Hamilton's already one of the most successful pole sitters in Formula One history. 
Well, he's added to that impressive tally this weekend, and today he'll be hoping he can add another win to his record as well. He'll want to stay out of trouble over the first few laps, but he'll be determined not to let any cars past him. If he can maintain that position once everything's settled down, he'll have a massive advantage and be able to control the race. What a race it was for Sebastian Vettel last time out. The German was back to his best and put in an almost flawless performance. Well, after winning those four world titles back to back, Seb certainly struggled to adapt to the new hybrid V6 era. True to the saying, form is temporary and class is permanent, he's back to winning Grand Prix and showing just what a great talent he is. So, there we go. Um, it's going to be tough, this race, because although we have the pace, naturally, our car may not actually be up to it. But one thing I am not going to do this time is I'm not going to start on the primes. Every time I start on the primes, I'm fine for the first stint. It actually makes very little difference when it comes to the option stint. And I've not really went faster if I'm honest it's just not really worked I'm not sure why so I am going to start with the options this time um, you can see it should last 6 to 7 laps it's a 14 lap race we are going to try and get these to 7 laps um, so yeah, um, yeah we're going to try and get them to 7 laps and keep our fingers crossed so let's start the race. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead, breaking so here we go. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Oh shit. Somehow. Oh my gosh, taking a brace of action. I'll be outside of absolutely everyone. Somehow we've managed not to lose our front wing, yes. Well, that was a little bit laggy. The frame rate drop. Got the inside of. Uh, I'm not entirely sure who I think that was Kvyat. It's in a red one, yeah. So it looks like the Torosos. Of course, they have the engine the Renault package. The Renault package, to be honest, I mean, it, it's a lot better than ours, but it's not. Ooh, wow. Could have cut across a little bit early there. I mean, it's not exactly a mighty package, is it? You've got a little thing there, and it's kind of just disappeared. Okay, the engine seems to get much hotter during the race than it does in, like, qualifying or anything like that. So, just going to keep pushing. And keep our... Yeah, oh, maybe with a heavy fuel, we can't quite go flat out over there yet. But the engine just seem, does seem to get much hotter during the race than, like, qualifying practice. That was such a big gap to us. It's extremely wide. Pretty free is our first lap. Someone's passing us. Just car science. No! Oh, almost turned into him. We didn't. We got a very nice exit off a turn one there. Looks like he, oh, that's Kvyat behind him. Interesting. Toro also are not that far behind Red Bull in performance this year. So we are going to try and push as hard as possible because I reckon the prime stint is more going to be about holding up. Because um, I, I just, I'm, j this car does not make the primes work. I don't feel. Now you can really appreciate the graphics on this track, though. This is where you can tell it's next gen. Everything looks so much nicer than it has done in the past around here. I mean, sort of reflections off a little tire, like, like rubber and reflections on the ground as well, just look far nicer. It just overall looks really good. So, 
33. DRS is enabled with three seconds off a face. Unbelievable. In fact, I don't think we've break out of the rear. He's trying to learn to really control that back end, but that might be just because of my brake ballast. Got a toss of science, I suspect. Try and get up the inside. We don't allow him to do that, though. Our target is P9. This is where we will gain most of our time, the second sector here. Because it's pretty much all, it's pretty much curved, and this car is not too bad around the corners. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't. It doesn't really understeer. It doesn't really lock up. If in some ways it's pretty decent on traction as well, but it's just obviously in the straights, it's just really, really poor. isn't heating up too much, which is interesting. I thought it would be heating up quite a bit more. But a second lap down. Uh, we may try and put earlier and see if there's any sort of undercut we can sort of manage. Oh, what time should we say? I'm 35. Uh, probably was a 34, wasn't it? So it's having another go at the inside. We're not going to let him, unless he hits us off. It's a lot on this track to sort of get right. This turn 9 is so difficult, you really got to try and judge your apex perfectly. I can see now how hard it is for the McLaren drivers. You've heard, like, uh, I, I heard uh, Martin Brundle sort of doing an interview of Jensen Button, and uh, he was saying, is there any finger pointing? Like, can McLaren say, oh, it's Honda, or can Honda say, oh, it's McLaren? And and Jensen said, like, uh, they can't help each other out. So he said it was pretty much even, which is kind of what you want your driver to say. However, when driving on this game, you can tell it's a little bit more Honda, a little bit less McLaren. Honda will become good. You know, they're one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. So, you know. They will definitely come good. We're going to try and brake a little bit later, accelerate earlier, shift up a bit earlier, and make sure we can really control the heat, and just hit these apexes nicely, and just try and catch up with the driver ahead, which is Max Verstappen, young 17-year-old. Four point four, I think. Um, I forgot at what point that was. Was that one we crossed the line? I think it was, but I might be wrong. Four point four at some point. This feels like a good lap. Oh, we're having to lift off a little bit there. Four point two. I managed to gain a little bit of time. I feel I might have lost a tiny bit there as well. Got some long straight, meaning it's extremely difficult. Probably shouldn't have used second there either. I should somehow control that oversteer. 4.4, right. 
Say we gain five tenths a lap. Because we, of course, we've lost a load of time as well. It does seem visually closer. Let's try and use Rich down the straight as well. Wow, our tyres are not the best of ways, however. Right, cause being an anti-clock, uh, whatever type of track this is, a uh, anti-clockwise track. Uh, let's go now. But good lord, we kind of just stopped. Here we go. Hopefully, we can get a good stop. Come, McLaren, please do us well. Ah, oh, we have to wait for Maldonado, he slows us down. Pedal to the metal now. Power. Oh my god. Oh good god! That was awful. Well, any potential chance of catching the Stappen may have gone. I know we've just got to hope that we don't get caught up behind. All these tyres do not feel good at the moment. Hopefully, at least if we can uh, get close to Stevens, the DRS detection is quite a little, quite a bit before actual activation. We can at least get some DRS. Same we don't overtake him because our car is probably faster than that Borussia in the straight line. If we, I don't think we're going to overtake him though. Up to Rich, I think he's pitting. He is. <laughs> Keep an eye on our engine. It's good, it's a good temp. Go, Jean. I'm not sure if he was in front or behind us. Try and perfect that corner there. Use that inside curb a little bit more. I've not been doing that. Uh, you keep going wide on that one. Have we, I would say we're a little bit closer to the guys ahead of Grosjean. Maybe, maybe we're not, but it just kind of feel like that. If we didn't have our spin, we'd probably be where our spin, our half spin coming out of the pit, we'd probably be where Grosjean is now. But last time, of course, for Red Bull, with the Renaults, they had engine engine issues. Have unfortunately, I think we've probably already overtaken both Red Bulls. Ricardo may be in that pack. Um, so quickly look at the race director. Uh, see who's in this pack in front. Oh wow, Jensen is. Oh, he hasn't stopped. Um, 
No, we may have. We may. It's possible, depending on how reliable or unreliable these uh, Renault engines are, we may have a chance at a few more points. I do think it's weird that uh, Nico Rosberg seems to be beating Hamilton in all the races. And that's not true. I mean, no offence to Rosberg, but Hamilton is the faster driver. Hamilton is about 5% faster than Nico Rosberg. Um, he's a very good driver, is Nico, but he's not as good as Hamilton at anything, really. Last year, he was much better in qualifying. We can give him that, but um, I think now Lewis has fixed that. He's not as fast in that either. Well, it's currently 8-1 <laughs> as I'm uh, doing this race. It may be different. Uh, no, this will probably go out for. Oh yeah, this will go out for next weekend in Hungary. So, yeah, that may change. Have a Hampton. I think got. Did Hampton get pole last year? Can't remember. I know um, Ricardo won. It was like a fair and square win, if you know what I mean. Because of course Canada was a bit of a a bit of luck because they lost about 160 something horsepower. We are catching up to Grosjean, which is good. Haven't um, seemed to have got faster than that, or a faster lap. It seems strange, so maybe it's not. It's obviously not just me who's struggling a little bit on these tyres. That is a point. I am seeing a one world championship point. In the form of Roman Grosjean. Oh, lifting off there again. I can take that flat out. You guys have seen me take it flat out. Really want this point. Grosjeans are not going to give it up easily. The guys at Enstone also need other points as well as us. But us more. And I want a point as well. So hey. So no flashbacks have I have still got them on. I just forget to turn them off. I don't do these one after another, otherwise I probably would. In fact, no, I probably wouldn't remember to turn them off any, but we've broken pretty nicely there. Better than I was expecting, actually. God, oh, you're just so... You're just hoping through turn one and two that the car's not going to come away from you. I think I fixed my issue with that corner there. It took it perfectly. That's how you want to take it. Take lots of this curve on the inside. Try and turn early, which I haven't done. Right behind Corrosion. Just going to check the damage. Does feel sound weird with Lotus not having a Renault engine? It does sound really strange, doesn't it? They've always had a had a Renault engine for well, they've, yeah, they've, all, they've either been Renault or Lotus, of course. Uh, this is in effect the team Fernando Alonso used to drive for, was, but he drove for Renault. Um, but, um, turn up to Rich. DRS as well. Good thing is, I think Grosjean is catching the pack ahead as well. We have only got three laps to catch him up. Um, at some point, I'd like an update on the car behind to see what's happening. See if he's gaining on us or if we're indeed pulling away, which I think we probably are. When you used to wheel, you look far less at the kind of the timings and stuff. So you ah, shit. You have a really good feel on on like you know if you're setting a good lap. Have I have been very surprised that I haven't set a faster lap on these prime tires. Well, the gap's four seconds. 
try and get it as early as possible. Let's try and get this flat. I still can't do it. I don't think Grosjean is doing it either. Oh, I was trying a little bit of a cheeky move there. Right behind Grosjean, try and get out of his dirty air. We're going to need Vettel. Ferrari may get a, a 25 World Championship points here. Behind Roman Grosjean, he is pulling away though still. Oh no, we're closing in though at the latter stages of uh, DOS. Well, yeah, latter stages I guess. That's not meaning later, more mid. Is Grosjean, uh, I'm not entirely sure if he's catching up with the guys ahead. He was, he definitely was, but maybe not so much anymore. Next round, I'm just going to look at the race direct and see the timing and see if it's possible to get more than one point. But I would be pleased with one point nevertheless. I don't want to stay behind garage on too long because that engine is going to overheat and it's already shit and low on power anyway. Right, let's have a look at the race director. So we've got, if we view our lap times, uh, how do we do that, A, we're kind of a, what are we, a 36, 30, 30 kind of, a little bit inconsistent, oh no, hang on, oh right, yeah, a little bit inconsistent actually, oh well, 36, about a 36, 30, mid 36 let's say, Grosjean is late 36, early 37 and we've got Verstappen who is similar to us I would say he is yeah he's similar to us so yeah um, however Verstappen's got the Renault engine which is surprising you would have thought um, Lotus with the Mercedes engine would be far faster but clearly not anyway it's good to be out of just for that brief moment out of his Sort of dirty air. We are going to try on the inside. We've got Grosjean on the inside. We're neck and neck with him. We're going to give him plenty of room. On the outside, we can now cut across him because we have and we've done and we have one world championship point from McLaren. He's going to come back at us. Now, this is now going to be a whole oh, crap. A bit of a test. Is it possible for him to actually overtake us before start finish? No. Oh, close. Yes. So come out, hello, man. Give an update on the stepping in a minute. I'll try and pull away from Grosjean as much as possible so he's out of our DRS. Drivers behind are also looking quick. Did spend a little bit of time battling as well. Fairly unlikely we're going to catch them up unless they have an issue, a spin, or something like that. Just possible with the new AI, they do make more mistakes. Or they drive far more realistically. Rosberg is now in the lead. Sounds like it's, it must be pretty close over there. I'm sure you guys are maybe looking at the minimap and seeing where they probably are because they've they're obviously swapping places every now and again. Keep your this corner. 
Now, I didn't do very well. If I was doing the lead grades, I'd probably get a warning for corner cutting. But you just want to take the straightest line as possible without cutting. That's the key through that corner. You want to take as much left curve as possible, fling it right, kind of like what I've done there. It was flat out for this bit. I haven't quite got the front end to be able to um, get out of that corner uh, without uh, getting a little bit of understeer. But we did a pretty decent job. You used to be able to just complete trail break. Now it looks like we are closer. Now I'm hoping that's a potential issue. To rich just in case they have issues coming up to the line closing in the Hulkenberg maybe with an extra two or so laps we would have had more of a chance but obviously not today and we come across the line to get one championship point for McLaren, finally, our championship has started. Fernando Alonso is not going to be happy, but we don't care because we have a point. His objective was ninth. We didn't get that. We got the best of what we so could, though. Today from Nico Rosberg, and I'm sure the Mercedes garage will be celebrating that win long into the night. What a weekend it's been, and one that's been thoroughly enjoyable. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. Well, uh, it always seems like the McLaren guys, we, we do seem to gain positions during the race. And that's interesting. Our race is obviously better than our qualifying, however, I never feel like that. Um, I'm really pleased that we were able to overtake and really... Get a good gap to Grosjean. Looks like Hulkenberg extended his gap a little bit more. Him and Max Verstappen were obviously battling. That's probably why he was slowed down so much. Um, I do find it strange that Hamilton should be winning more races. Maybe that's a patch they will introduce. Um, at the moment, Hamilton's third in the championship, which isn't wider I think Hamilton should almost win automatically the championship unless you're driving as Nico Rosberg that's my opinion um, everyone gained positions apart from Lewis <laughs> seems quite interesting so um, yeah apart from Lewis everyone gained positions of a top 10 but finally we got a point we're gonna have a look at the drivers championship we are 13th now ahead our teammate. The reason we're ahead of our teammate is because we've obviously we've got better non-point scoring positions than him. That is why we have um, overtaken him in the standings. But we are both on one point. We've only got two points. However, if we keep sort of nibbling away, we may just may catch Lotus up. I'd say a realistic challenge, um, a realistic potential target could be Sauber. They've got 10 points at the moment. Of course, the races which have just gone, including this one in some ways, but I think my pace around the track is, is far better than others, so that's why we were able to score points. Um, the races have gone so far, China and Malaysia, you know, we were never going to get points. Uh, somehow, somehow, um, Johnson got points. Was that that may have even been in Australia? It was either Australia or Malaysia. I forgot. I'm sure you guys can remember from the beginning of the career mode. Um, we've got the likes of uh, Spain, Monaco. Monaco should be a good one if I can. I need to work on Monaco. I'm not that quick around there, but it is a potential real good points paying um, track. So we've got the likes of Spain, Monaco. Spain only it has kind of two longish long well it has one long straight and then it has one slightly shorter straight but um, it's similar similarly to Bahrain we've got a, good, a car with some good handling so you know it shouldn't be too bad um, anyway guys that has been that episode that was um, round four 
at Bahrain in midnight. Uh, we got one world championship point, so I'm pleased about that. Anyway, I will see you next time for Spain. Goodbye.